they only have the white markers out. So I'm going to play this course from about 3,300 yards or so. It should play okay. Okay, we got 150 here to this pin. I've got a big wide green. It'll leave me a little short of the left bunker so we can play it a little bit at the left side of the green. They're a little tricky this time of year. <laughs> All right, got that three putt out of the way early. Yeah, 360. Okay, so there's a bunker on the right side of the fairway. It's about 205 to carry that bunker. Out of bounds left, so we definitely want to air towards the right side. Gonna hit this at the left edge of that bunker. Okay, should be pretty good. So guys, I think a lot of times why people struggle to break their scoring barrier is they're almost afraid to put pressure on a short game. You know, for instance, that shot back there, I would have probably played that shot different if I was just playing four score because I have a little more confidence in my full swing. But for someone trying to break 80 or even break 90, that's a good way to play the hole. You took all the trouble out and then relying on the short game. So today I'm gonna play a little bit differently, even more conservative than normal, just to keep the ball in the right spots and keep myself in the game. Pin must be all the way back of the green. We've got 168 to the pin. We've got bunkers right. There's really no trouble left unless you go way left. So we want to keep the bunkers out of play that are on the right. We're going to go left of the flag here with a five hybrid. All right, so we're learning a little bit about the course, be a little more aggressive on our approach play and our short game. Should move a little bit to the left. Just keep the ball in play. I'm gonna hit this out towards that 150 yard stake. got 165 to that pin so in this hole there's a bunker on the left it's about 142 to carry that bunker so the bunkers on the right go all the way up so we're going to take the bunkers on the right out of play and we'll aim it a little bit towards the left make sure we can carry those bunkers on the left side so we'll hit a four hybrid here Pushed it a little bit, and this one is kind of hard to read. I feel like I'm on the highest point of the green, and I feel like this ball is relatively straight down the hill. Good par. 48 to the back edge. I don't think I have to worry about hitting this 148 yards. So we're gonna make sure we carry that first bunker, which is on the right side, pins tucked on the right, so we can take this towards the left center of the green. Kind of right up on a ridge here, and this ball should move to the left.
fun hole here. Probably one of my least favorite par fives. Not because it's not a great par five, but just because it's such a challenge. We've got bunkers on the right that are pretty much out of out of range. Oh yeah, they're 240 or so to those bunkers. So I've got 303 to the center of the green. If we could get this out there 170, that'll leave us 130 into this green. So this is what makes this hole so tough. Four feet left to the fairway. Got these trees overhanging. Do not have a shot. Even at the left edge of the fairway, you would be blocked out. So we've got 144 left. There's a little opening between those two branches up there. We could probably hit a seven iron fairly low through there. Probably a better percentage play is to just hit a seven iron low under both branches and just try to run it up. So we'll do that. Try to land it maybe 40 yards short of the green. Get up there. This is probably the lowest point of the green here. This is the highest point up on this slope. I'm just gonna hit a little seven iron here, land it on the green and play it a couple feet left of the hole. One sixty-five to the pin here. This is an interesting hole and a challenging hole. We've got a big tree on the right that kind of guards the right side. If you hit the ball too low, we have a bunker that guards short left and a bunker that guards long right. One of those holes where actually trajectory is kind of important. Ground is kind of frozen too. One fifty-five to carry that bunker. Probably one sixty. Eight to that back bunker. We blew this one out to the right here. We got plenty of green to work with. The pin is all the way on the left side of that green. There's a ridge kind of in the middle of the green. So we need to make sure we get it at least past that ridge. Just pushed it out to the right. As we got the distance right, just did not get it going correctly over that mound. Going a little right, there's a tree over there. I'm not really sure if that's to block us or not. This hole is playing about 375. I've got 164 to the pin. We're gonna go four hybrid again. Had a good line on it. Okay, didn't hit that as good as we hoped, but we're still in the game. Okay, so we missed that shot, but we ended up with a good lie here, 364 to the center of the green. So you pretty much hit this three wood as far as we can hit it. Bunkers are up there, but they're kind of out of range.
Pin must be all the way in the back. 195 to the pin. Don't know how firm it is there. I'm going to hit a high wood up there. There's a bunker back left that could get you. There's a bunkers on the right. So we're just going to play the high wood. Air a little bit towards the left side. All right there, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to tune in for Subscriber Sunday, and I'll also have a video on Monday. But in the meantime, why not watch a song about my favorite course by clicking the video to my right? And if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, Mr. Shore Hitter, out. Hit more greens.